We have two harnesses. Both are no pull harnesses. One is the Blue Nine Balance Harness, and the other is the Rough Wear Flagline Harness. They couldn't be more different. This one is a thin strap all the way around. This one, of course, has so much padding. So let's look at both harnesses. First, the Blue Nine. It's also a no pull harness. It has this pink strap that tells you the strap that goes on the back. And they say that the neck strap is supposed to fit very loose. It's not supposed to be up here. It's never supposed to be bothering your dog's throat. Fits down low, fits down into the uh, breastbone. Then you have your pink, which it to be a couple inches behind the shoulder blades, which are here. So that fits. This harness also has a chest strap. Any of these straps can be adjusted. If you adjust the chest strap, then of course that's gonna bring the uh, growth strap further forward. So we're not gonna adjust anything for a minute. Let's see what it looks like straight out of the package. We hook it, it has clips on both sides, which I like. It has rings on both front and back, so you can use a two clip leash to turn this into a double control. You can see how much space there is here where there's no chafing underneath the armpits. There's no rubbing and it's way back. So this is good, I like this. When she stands up, yep, good girl, good job, good job. You can see where it fits way down here. This is a little big, so if I tighten this a little bit, it would bring it forward a little, but it still gives me lots of room here. We can tighten these on both sides. Make sure you do it on both sides so that you can get your hand underneath. So this is the Blue Nine Balance Harness. Kind of a nice harness. It's a no-pull harness. I think because she has such short hair that it's probably not as comfortable as one that has more padding. I like this harness. I think I would probably like it more for dogs that have a lot more uh, fur hair. But I do think it's a nice harness and I would give it a thumbs up. Let's look at the Rough Wear Flagline harness. So this is the Rough Wear Flagline harness. Lots of padding and multiple clips. Clips on both sides. Stay here. Good girl, good girl. And full padding here. This is where this harness differs from the Webmaster harness by Rough Wear because the Webmaster harness has a strap here. This one has a full padding. So this one goes over the head. Oops, good girl. And gives you the padding here. Also padding on the back. There's no clip on the neck band. Whereas the Blue Nine had clips on the neck band. Going to go underneath and we're gonna clip it here. And this one clips here. So we have double safety in my mind. Clips here. We have four clips. So you can see again, look how far back this fits. That's what I really like about these two harnesses. They fit back far, they fit down low. So they both have those same great characteristics. They're not impinging on the neck or the throat. Like I did a review two weeks ago. I'll put the link above. That was on the Easy Walk and the Two Hound Design Freedom Harness. And you'll see the difference in that video. You have the padding, it low set, the two straps back, which is great for a narrow body dog. You have a strap here for the uh, leash. You also have another strap back here. And then you have a strap here. Now, I know they say 
that this strap is very strong and it's supposed to be a really secure strap. I wish they would put a metal clip on the front here that make me feel safer. So on this one, they have the clip in front and the clip in the back. So these are both metal clips and, the, and they're pretty sturdy. And this is a small. So if you were getting a medium or a large, the clips would be that much larger. So this makes me feel safer than this clip even though Roughwear says that it's a very strong clip, and I believe them. So, and for my dog, it wouldn't be a problem there. So you have the two clips, you have three clips, you have full padding, you have the nice neck, you have the no impingement on the shoulder. I like both of these harnesses for one more reason. And that is, in this harness, fits low, comes down here, doesn't hit the, uh, the neck. Also, there's no side strap. Like some of the straps, you know, that come across and the dog moves to the right or to the left and you're pulling the dog's shoulders. Well, in this one, there is no impingement on the dog on the shoulders, which isn't good for young puppies. And on this one, same thing. I go, sweetie. Go, girl. Pick it up. Go, girl. In this harness, the Rough Wear flag line, there is no strap that goes across the chest. This one is has a full padded front. There's no strap that goes across to move the shoulder. So for a young dog, both of these harnesses, both the Blue Nine and the Rough Wear Flag Line would be great for young dogs because it doesn't affect their shoulder movement or shoulder development. Now, there's a difference in cost. The Blue Nine, this one was $49.95, and this one was $59.95, and can be even more expensive. So I like both of these harnesses for many, many reasons. I would choose the Flagline harness simply because Nikki is a narrow-bodied dog, and I like the idea of the second strap. This harness, I'm afraid she's gonna get out of. But for a dog with hair, and fitted properly. This is a great harness and I've seen many people wear it. So I like both harnesses. I hope this has helped to give you an idea about what harness might be best for your dog. If you'd like to know more about harnesses, please look at the video above, the comparison of Easy Walk versus the Freedom Harness. Also, there is a comparison between the Roughwear Webmaster and the Roughwear Flag Line. Please leave me some comments about what type of harness you use on your dog. Give Nikki a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell. Thank you from Joyce and Nikki at Diamond Dog Training. Bye bye.